What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at how to delete all your internet activity from your computer. Now that may be a case where you've been going to banking sites or you've been surfing websites at work and you want to clear off all your traces then this little application is good for Internet Explorer and Firefox. Now I know we've covered CCleaner in the past but I just wanted to give this little program a shout because I think it's worthy of a shout. It's a nice little app and once this has all been set up you can actually run this behind the scenes and you won't even need to worry about it anymore it will just clear all these areas out for you. So let's have a look at the program itself. It's only a basic looking program but it's got some good functionality to it. It's got secure delete, you can delete custom folders and files and registry keys. You can do quite a lot with this program. So let's uh, do the basic install here. Adds a add and remove uh, feature there so you can remove it from the add and remove programs if you're not happy with it. And here you can see IE Privacy Keeper, pretty basic looking but it's very uh, functional. So let's have a look here. Internet Explorer, you can just set this up. You've got the little pop up bubbles to help you understand what it is and this will be your index.dat file. So temporary internet files, if you want to clear off all that index.dat file, this is the tick that you need to be putting in. You can also put a tick in the keep selective entries and you can do that by clicking on this and it will actually keep the actual entries for you and it gives you a little description of how to set this up down at the bottom. And if you want to view that area you just click on this and it will take you to the location of temporary internet folders and files. Okay, let's move on to the Firefox tab. Same as the uh, Internet Explorer tab, You've got the same sort of uh, ticks here but slightly different obviously because it's a different um, piece of software but you've also got the same feature where you can actually put your ticks in and put your ticks into these areas here okay okay so let's have a look at the uh, system area again this is all your normal area of activity on your computer i.e. Uh, recent documents run history prefetch folder um, all these windows open and save history anything like that start menu programs list you can put ticks into these and remove these as you go okay now you've also got recycle bin selective drives you can click which drive you want to add into here whether it be both drives um, again recent documents pretty much you can do uh, the recent area and you also can do keep selective documents which is a nice little feature where you want to, you want to keep certain documents in there and it will allow those to stay on the system and remove everything else so as you go through here and you start putting your ticks in, you can also put exceptions in here. Again, add add files and add folders, and uh, you can actually delay the cleaning time on that as well. Flash cookies, same sort of thing really. Uh, you can set this up as you like, um, pretty much, and you've got the actual pop-up bubbles that help you. Also, you've got recent file lists, uh, Windows Media Player if you're using a, a QuickTime and also real player and all these other types of areas you can just put ticks in these let's go on to the files area the files is basically uh, folders files and folders that you can add to here that it's gonna clean ie custom area so you just add this in pick the folder that you want and let's just say the temp folder inside uh, Windows so we're gonna go to our C drive here just click on their windows there and come down there's a temp folder in here some people use this um, to temporarily download stuff and put it into this area and we could click on this and you can see the folder is now listed into into there and we can actually do a secure delete so if we've got sensitive data that's going into this area we can actually set this up and put secure delete in here uh, custom mark fields this is basically going to say here uh, the folder and all files in it or you can actually just put a custom mark field inside here okay it just depends exactly what you want to set this up as but this will basically remove everything click OK here and it adds it to this location let's go to the registry part here again you can add registry keys to this location so we can add a registry key and you can go H key current user we got uh, H key uh, classics root and also uh, local machine so if you was on the actual 
current user part here you can actually uh, start the registry editor pick this location out which I thought was a real nice little touch and uh, you can pick the location that you want and it will clear this location out for you okay and that will just add the key in and the location and you can actually put in uh, the value name as an option there if you wish so let's go to the options tab here and as you can see we've got some other options open to us auto cleanup this is the place you want to go when you want to set this up like a schedule and it will actually uh, uh, clean this on the uh, log off and also log on and you've also got when you close IE Explorer Internet Explorer and also you've got uh, Firefox when you close Firefox it will clean it automatically for you okay or when you've got the application exit so you've got this option as well and you just add these in and do whatever you like here okay again clean up notifications this will give you no notification um, log window it will give you a notification of what's going on and you can play a sound if you wish uh, and set this up exactly how you want and you've got a test button here to test it to let you know what it sounds like so we've got miscellaneous options here again pretty much self-explanatory you just go through here and uh, set this up how you like and uh, you can actually set a, a delete files securely here and you've got your passes that you want to do and it will give you a little bubble of uh, information and text to let you know what it's all about and you can set this up to three passes or whatever you want seven passes and this will go right up to 99 which is a hell of a lot of overwrites I'm not sure if you want to do that but I mean pretty much free would be ample in my opinion but if you want to leave it as default one then don't put the tick in and it will just clean it quickly okay rename folders before deletion this is another secure feature this is stopping you to recover data if you was trying to recover data um, I mean if you're going to be doing sort of this sort of stuff you'd have to be doing some sort of illegal activity i.e. a lot of downloading and a lot of stuff like that and this will rename folders and dates and times and you can uh, reset the file size to zero before deletion and whatnot okay and you can also move files and folders before deletion it's, it's never ending really but basically if you want really secure deletion then this is basically the way to go and you can also add a nice little feature here which is add it to the actual context menu which I thought was quite nice and this will uh, require a restart so I'm just going to say no here and basically what that's going to do is allow you to right click and there will be a secure deletion there now you can see which is a nice little feature okay let's have a look at uh, locations again you can put your locations in here and uh, pretty self explanatory really you just put your ticks in and away you go okay and then the last one we've got is a uh, view the latest cleanup log and this is basically just a log file when you run it it will give you a log if you set that up in your settings here to save a log and that will also do that for you you've also got frequently asked questions this is a place you would go if you've got any questions about this product and you don't know how to set it up this will be the area to go to and also we've got about ie privacy keeper which just tells you about the application itself pretty cool and uh I hope you like it anyway so they also got some links to other programs which they do do which I think is a very uh, worthy uh, shout as well and we'll do that maybe in another video so that's basically that program in a nutshell a bit long-winded but it needed to be done it's a really awesome bit of kit and a thumbs up for that one so thanks again for watching guys I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future now if you've got any video requests then uh, send me a message or post a comment or whatever you want to do and I'll do my best to make those videos for you okay guys so thanks again have a great weekend don't get too drunk bye for now